Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. Unboxing videos are always so fun and I'm always here for it. So today I'm unboxing the Black Friday Ofra mystery box, of course from Ofra. So they started doing their Black Friday sales on the 11th of November which was really soon and there's a whole list I'll put on the screen for you of their sales going on through like Black Friday and everything. So you know, I like over products, especially their highlighters and their liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks are super comfortable and their highlighters are gorgeous. So I decided I would just go ahead and unbox this for you guys. Hopefully you will enjoy it. And um, yeah, it's on Oprah's website on Black Friday. It's one of those mystery boxes launch on the 25th. So here is the inside of the box. This isn't sponsored, but I was gifted it. So there's that. And then here after I open it up is what the inside looks like. I am flying in this video already. This is gonna take no time at all. Also, side note, do you like my little candle here? I didn't make this one, so I do have a shop to open crypto.com where I make candles and everything, but I'm also just a candle hoarder. I go through a lot of candles. And I found this one at World Market, and it's really cute. It's the Firewood Fig candle. It smells nice because it sounds like a nice manly musk with like a little bit of a sweetness, and it was only $14.99. So that's the candle I'm burning today, and I really like it so far. But <laughs> back to the mystery box. Here is the inside. Let's start off with these two lip products in the front here, it looks like. So this first thing is the lip gloss in truffle. So this is what the truffle color looks like. I'm not a lip gloss person, but I know a lot of people are. And also a deeper lip gloss is a little bit different. So if you're wearing a dark color like I am today, it's probably be a beautiful topper over it. If you're in lip glosses, I feel like most people are. Let me know down below if you're like me and don't like lip glosses. Just because I don't like if I'm outside and the wind blows in my hair, I don't want to get stuff all over my hair. You know, like lip products everywhere. I feel like that's just messy. Or some people, if you're into it, let me know too. The other thing is a liquid lipstick, which I love their liquid lipsticks. So what shade is this? I don't know. I'm going to open it up and figure out what shade it is. These are comfortable. They don't dry down all the way. So if you eat out of a eat something it might come off on like your sandwich or something or if you drink it will come off on your straw but it's very soft very comfortable and it still is long wearing it's not gonna take all of your lipstick off if you drink something this is in the shade Rome. i don't have this shade so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you looks like a berry reddish tone right there so kind of similar to what i'm wearing today just a little bit more of a red so this is the next thing in here we have a liquid lipstick which i'm always happy with also, let me know your favorite Ofra product down below. So I have two. I have the Cools and Cucumber Primer. I love. It's so good. And it's always on sale. I'm like, how are you putting this on sale all the time? It's so good. Love that primer. Then also Pillow Talk Highlighter is just chef's kiss gorgeous. Next up in here looks like a highlighter. It's very tough bubble wrap, honestly. And this highlighter is in Stars and Stripes, which looks like a white and a pink, which I'm here for, of course. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's funny. It kind of looks like candy cane. So here it is. Obviously when I wear it, I just you know, swirl through all the shades. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just swirl around. It's very pinky pinky, which technically pillow talk my favorite pink highlighter is. And there it is. Honestly, this is so pink that I would probably put it in between my blush and my highlighter just for like an all over glowy cheek moment, you know, because you could mix this into your blush as well and not just put it on the tops of your cheekbones. Very pink, but very pretty. Next up in here is the Verified Drama Proof Liquid Liner. I'm gonna go ahead and say this box is a little bit big for a little liner in here, but I have tried their liner before. It's fine. It's not like, oh my God, amazing. But also I don't know if I can be impressed with an eyeliner anymore. I just feel like I've had so many in my day that it's kind of hard to be impressed with them, but I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you. So it's like a black, well, it's a gray to black where it's white, like decorations on it. And this is a swatch. Here's how the tip performs. Kind of did it on top of tattoo, probably not the best swatch of it, but it is a decent black color to it and it feels soft. Like the bristle felt tip feels very soft on it and it's not too, it's not too fine where I feel like I'm gonna have to be like super, super gentle with that. I can kind of, so we will see over testing how much I like it, but as of a swatch, it performs pretty well. I mean, it's an eyeliner. Am I supposed to be overly impressed with eyeliners? I don't know. Anyways, next up, we have a palette. So this is the last thing in the mystery box. I know this was a quick video, but this thing is a mini mix palette. So this is the Too Cheeky Cheek Palette. I like their palettes like this one. They have a pink one they came out with for like breast cancer awareness and I really like that one so far. So here is the other cheek palette. I probably would not use 
these two shades. I might use this one on like a special occasion, but these three shades, boop, 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 are really beautiful. So this is, again, the Too Cheeky Cheek Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both highlighters just to get a test for like which one I could wear if I could wear them. And definitely I would wear the lighter one. So lighter highlighter in here is Star Island, which is a very light gold. It's kind of universal gold. And the other highlighter in here is Sahara Dawn, which would be too dark for me but it could be an eyeshadow, but also for face palettes. I don't typically use face palettes as eye palettes. I know that people are like, oh, if you don't use this shade, you can use an eyeshadow. I probably just wouldn't use the shade, I guess, but I do like the Star Island one. And also if you have a medium complexion, this palette would probably be really good for you because you can use everything in it, you know? Um, so let's go over everything that we got in the mystery box. Not very well composed video today. I don't know. I filmed a whole video this morning, um, a whole ColourPop try on video for this eye look. And then my video was corrupted and I was very, very sad about it. So I now I can feel like my whole day got thrown off. So in the Ofra Black Friday mystery box, we have a two cheeky mini mix face palette with several different shades in it. These also have like a little lip so you can just easily pop them out and put a magnetic palette if you want to rearrange them for easier storage. We have a stars and stripes highlighter, which is very pink, but I'm not opposed to that. I think it's really cute. Um, I already messed up the imprint in it though, which is fine because I was going to mess it up anyways. We have a Verified Liquid Ink Black Eyeliner. We have a Truffle Lip Gloss in a brown kind of glittery tone. And also the Rome Liquid Lipstick, which is like a berry red color, not too pink, more towards like the red raspberry kind of tone to it, which is very pretty. So that is it for the Ofra Mystery Box. Now I'm going to go ahead and box the Medusa's makeup for this month since we have time in today's video. and. I forgot to do it earlier in the month, honestly. <laughs> so Medusa's Makeup is a subscription service. They also have just a regular website as well if you don't wanna do a subscription, but the subscription bag is all vegan products as well as everything else on their website. And I was excited to get this one because this was like a special one for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out. So this says Glow Up, it has a grapefruit on it. It also lets me know everything in here and I will let you know the retail prices of all these items as well. So here is our little bag for Medusa's makeup this month. I see a really cute heart puffy thing, but let's get into it. So first off, the little heart puffy thing, it says Medusa's makeup on it. It is a cute little soft, fluffy plush. What do you call these things? Puffs, I guess. This is a new product. This retails for $5. It is a makeup removing pad. So it has a little hand thing you can put your fingers in here. It's a makeup removing pad. Next up in here, we have like a little eyeshadow. So this is the Woke Baked Eyeshadow in a beautiful golden color. It's the really pretty color. It's a very shimmery shade. This product retails for $14. I don't know if $14 for like an eyeshadow. I don't really buy singles that often. So you guys tell me know if that's a good or bad price, but it is a smaller company. So I guess I do always feel better paying a smaller company a bigger price tag because when you're not ordering a million you know like a big company would it is gonna be a higher price tag to make each one so i'm not mad at it and then after that we have three more things in here so we have one like little droppery thing this is the medusa's makeup afterglow facial serum a refreshing hydrating blend of grapeseed oil and pink grapefruit oil which is vegan and cruelty free this is half an ounce of this little droppery thing this is what it looks like this product retails for $16. Again, not mad. It's a cute little serum. I want to smell it. Is it weird that I want to smell everything? It does smell like grapefruit. Grapeseed oil? Grapefruit oil. It smells like grapefruit, but not like overly pungenty citrusy, you know? Next up after that, we have the Pink Glow. So not Medusa's makeup brand. Luminizing Stick with 91% natural. So this Peony Botanical Nutritious Color. It just says a luminizing stick. This retails for $22 for this little thing. Seems like a lot of money, honestly. Um, so this is the luminizing stick. It's a little pink crayon thing. So it says it's 91% natural, but it's a little pink glowy stick. I don't know technically, since this says a luminizing stick, is it supposed to be a highlighter? It says pink glow. So I think it's supposed to be a highlighting stick. So again, I'm okay with pink highlighters. I just don't know how I feel about crayons going on my cheeks. I don't know. Last up in here, we have something else from Medusa's makeup. Obviously it's the brand. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, this is a Medusa's makeup tinted lip balm. Retails for $14 in the shade DM. So let's see what their lip balm is. It's a little bit pricey, but lip balm. 
So here is the color DM. Obviously it's not going to be full saturation of color since it is a lip balm. And it doesn't have a fragrance, which is good, I guess. Most people don't like fragrances, and the tube is very cute as well. So let's go over everything we got in the Medusa's makeup box this month. So in the subscription, we have the Tinted Lip Balm in the shade DM, a little mini facial serum that smells like grapefruit. We have a Peony Crayon Highlighter. We have a makeup eraser little pad thing, which I know people who love these, and I always save them for them. And then we also have an eyeshadow in a golden pretty tone called Woke. So that is it for both things today. The mystery box from Ofa as well, Ofa, Ofra, as well as the Medusa's makeup box for November 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section down below. For me, I like the Ofra one because I love their highlighters and we got a highlighter in it. I'm excited about it. And I can always use a black eyeliner. So thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day. Bye.